Hello again. It's Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. In the absence of Allegheny County Administrator John Lanford, County Finance Director Suzanne Adcock updated the supervisors on a number of items. Budgetary concerns are mounting for sure because what has happened to revenues as a result of COVID-19 restrictions still remains unclear. Listen been participating in some various uh, discussion groups to try to figure out trends and, and revenues and, and that sort of thing it's all up in the air at this point the local revenues that are most affected will be the bee pole the meals sales use and hotel it's really really early to have any kind of idea of what that true impact is going to be and the really wild card is going to be the state impact and what those revenues are going to look like and then how they will filter over to us. Um, so we're going to keep you informed as we figure out how we're going to tackle this. A uh, lot more questions and answers right now. Um, but Allegheny County Covington Sheriff Kevin Hall showed up at the supervisor's meeting needing cash for some serious vehicle problems. In all, that figure was about $23,000. The supervisors agreed to fund their portion of the total cost, but told the sheriff that the Covington City Council needed to be approached for their share. Watch. Mr. Nice and I serve on a committee where we had been meeting with the city of Covington. And one of their complaints over the years is that uh, they haven't had input into items like this. Uh, it seems like we pass them and then we expect them to pay for them and that was one of the big things that came out of the meeting, meetings was that they wanted to have some input into item, any item like this. And now a word from our sponsor. Longtime Lexington resident Taylor Woody has died at the age of 93. The lifelong automobile dealer was instrumental decades ago with his leadership to revitalize Lexington downtown area. The Clifton Forge Town Council held a 90-minute work session on Tuesday evening and got some answers to questions about town employee credit card use. Please find that information now on AlleghenyJournal.com and council members decided to select the top three candidates for a new town manager by next Tuesday for further consideration. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. Joseph Foster Sr., 72 of Ronsford, died last Thursday. Sharon Harvey, 71 of Hot Springs, died Monday. Michael Van Ness, 49 of Lexington, died Monday. Jean Duff, 81 of Lexington, died last Saturday. Carrie Agner, 67, formerly of Rockbridge County, died March 30th. Thomas Coffey, 81 of Buena Vista, died March 26th. Barbara Snowden, 84 of Lexington, died on Sunday. Elizabeth McDaniel, 95 of Covington, died on Friday. Sheila Murphy, 73 of Clifton Forge, died on Monday. Alice Myers, 71 of Covington, died Monday. Reginald Carter Sr., 69 of Clifton Forge, died Monday. Ada Leitner, 65 of Monterey, died on Tuesday. Taylor Woody Sr., 93, of Lexington, died last Thursday. And Stuart Grotz, 94, formerly of Selma, 
died in Cumming, Georgia. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, it should be partly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 62 and a low of 37. On Friday, mostly sunny, high of 51 and a low of 36. And on Saturday, partly cloudy, high of 60 and a low of 44 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. 